This is the International Space Education Institute from Germany. This is their, I guess, second buggy. Is this buggy number two? Buggy number one. Buggy number one. Buggy number two ran earlier this morning. Now, what is your name? Max. Max and Vicky. Vicky. Now, what is taking you so long? Your other team ran this morning. What uh, has there been some issues with your buggy? We have a lot of problems with wheels and with pumps, but we have a wide wave for it, and we stay here. And so you've made it to the start line. Tell me uh, what all you've done today to 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 work out the problems with your buggy. Um, we have we go to the shop and buy new um, things for the wheel, and we do the cables. Um, um, away from the mechanism and uh, so you think you got it good and ready to go now right cool. all right good luck to you guys this is the Institute for Space Technology from Germany buggy number two no buggy number one <laughs> it's hard to <laughs> keep up eight, this late in the day Bill I think the I heat's understand. getting to me hang in there all right so we're still uh, watching the North Florida Community College team as they said, they were going to run their buggy through, and they, they may come in with the best time for a buggy that was run through the entire course. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, uh, it seems like uh, just we've had a bunch of setbacks, but we are definitely going to try and get this thing working for tomorrow and come back and compete, and hopefully we'll do really good and have a good time. And we'd love to see you back here again next year. All right, yeah, we'd love to come back. Excellent. Thanks very much, Garrett. Go ahead and join your team, and uh, good luck in fixing what you need fixing on that one. Thank you, Bill. So, all right. Uh, coming up and now in six minutes in there, Ron, and it looks like they're coming down the back side of the uh, hill towards the Pathfinder Space Shuttle as Gary goes through last-second checks with uh, one of the International Space Education Institute teams. This is team number one, who was supposed to have gone earlier this morning, but they had a bit of a problem in getting their buggy all fixed up and ready to go. But as you can see, they're definitely hitting, hitting the course with abandon. Now 20 seconds into it, and they're already over obstacle number two as we see North Florida Community College crossing over the finish line, having pushed their buggy the entire length of the course. Literally didn't even complete finishing the starting, uh, finishing crossing the starting line. Uh-oh, looks like we've already had a problem with the uh, Team Germany from Leipzig. Both drivers are now off. Looks like some of the problems they said they had earlier. Well, I see it's manifested itself in a flat and bent front tire. Oh, got a little sideways on that one, too. Yeah, it looks like the front left tire is definitely... I think the front right one is bent, is, or at least flat as well. And it looks like the front left one it was bent. You can still make it through if you want to push it. Unfortunately, that does mean uh, penalties pretty much on each obstacle. I'm standing here next to one of the judges, by the way, for obstacles uh, number 10. Really quickly, do you know how much uh, each uh, penalty is costing when it comes to a ground touch? Yeah, each penalty is a minute. So they get both penalties, it's an additional two minutes. Oh, and what's the other penalty for? Ground touch is if they get off their buggy and touch the ground. Uh, an obstacle penalty is if they avoid uh, attempting the obstacle on their buggy in any way, or if they hit the outsides or the cones. Oh, okay, so the cones are considered out of bounds as well. That's right. Excellent. So I can give credit where credit is due. What was your name again? My name is Becky. Becky, okay. Thanks very much, Becky. One of the judges here at Obstacle 10. Giving some well well needed information on this. So we've seen uh, quite a few that have to take basically double penalties for not being able to even attempt the obstacle, and then uh, merely if they are on the obstacle and have to put the foot down to help get over it, that's another minute. We'll get a closer look at team number eight, the International Space Education Institute's team from Germany. One of their teams from Germany, I should say. We'll get a closer look at it here in just a minute. It looks like both front wheels are flat. The left front one, from what I can tell, the rim is bent. Wow, that's, that's, that's going to be a tough slog to try to finish like this. 
but they're definitely going to give it a go. It's a good looking, solidly made buggy. Unfortunately, those front wheels are just <laughs> are not going to are not going to count for much. 